<laughs> so uh, that's why it's my favourite, and then it, and also because it contributed to the national debate about the so-called stolen generations, the generations of Indigenous children who were removed from their parents and sent to these re-education centres to be to have the 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 First Nation um, language and customs removed from their psyche and and, uh, and they were to be taught to be useful in a white society, which generally meant, you know, that the women would be taught to be uh, um, domestics and, yeah. and the, men, uh, the men to be farm workers. Anyway, later, about 10 years after the movie came out, the Prime Minister of Australia uh, rose in Parliament on the first day of the new Parliament and made an apology to those who had been removed forcefully, uh, those Indigenous people who had been removed. So I felt in my heart that the film had contributed to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apology and, and had made a difference within Australia, but also mainly because, you know, I was able to share a story that was true with people all over the world. Yeah. Um, as opposed to the movies that I made here in Hollywood, which... Um, have I made some true stories? A couple, I guess, but mainly they were other people's stories. They were not stories that came out of my own experience. Yeah. And 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 you know, and and they and although telling them involved a lot of emotion, it wasn't a heartfelt experience for me. Whereas making Rabbit Proof Fence was a heartfelt experience. You know, it was a film that was made from my heart. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. 